Hello everybody, welcome back to FTB on the Mindcrack Pack. Not on the Mindcrack server, but with the Mindcrack Pack on my personal server. Oh, I just gave something away. <laughs> so you remember how I told you guys last episode that after all that mining, the only thing that I needed that I didn't get to in order to make the pulverizer and get started on machines was gold? Well, how do you like that? 34 gold. Let's just look at my stuff real quick. I a like good amount of iron. Gold, crude oil, tin, ore, and it's just... Okay, yeah. Bunch of tin. Copper, silver, galena, lead, aluminum, ferrous, bauxite, cinnabar, name it. Monazit, bunch of lycorium, even some shards for thomcraft. Couple stacks of coal, a few couple stacks of redstone. Freaking nickelite, don't know how you snuck in here. Lapis, tin, more smelted tin that we got from the... Chests outside, silver, uranium, thomian, seven diamonds, two emeralds from the chests outside, rubies, thirties, thir <laughs> rubies, sapphires, and green sapphires. And I've already smelted two gold, five iron, three copper, and got everything I think that I need. Not everything, actually, I still got some other stuff to make. But this is our objective today. Make a friggin' pulverizer. So, what's the first thing we should do? I say make a piston, because why not? So... Let's grab four bits of that, and yes, I'm going to leave the stuff on because or the pulverizer thing on because it just makes it more easy, easier to grab the thing. All right, what else do I need? I need redstone. I don't exactly remember how to make a piston all the time. Oh, I, it's normally the thing that I forget, but I think I got it now. Yeah. All right, now what? I need a machine frame, which is four iron. Four glass and one gold. Oh, look at that. I happen to have all of those things on me. One gold and four iron. Oh, wait, okay, how did I do that wrong? Uh, maybe the glass. There we go. Okay, machine frame. Now I need two flint, two copper, gold, two redstone. All right, gold and redstone to make the reception coil. And then two copper on the sides. Is that all? No, and I, I need flint. Right, flint, 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 flint. Uh, actually, what I could... I know how I can do this. Flint. Oh, look, I, I have exactly two flint. <laughs> That's awesome. Here we go. But clicking on that question mark gives you this. So now I can go like that. And... Boom. Pulverizer. Fantastic. Fantastic, 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 fantastic. All right. So what we're going to do... Hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking now. Uh, let's dig this back a little bit. Let's dig this in about two blocks in. I think we'll do me well. Oh! Oh god. I hate you. I hate you, water. I hate you so much. Get away. Alright. Uh-oh. No, I place all my torches on the floor for some reason. I have to come. T this is the hole I dug down to, not even bedrock, just down. And then I found this cave here. Good lord! Help! Oh, stop the water quicker. No, wait, that doesn't help me at all. Dang it! Ah, dang it! Now it's even gone over here. I don't even know what's over there. Actually, I do. It's stupid and useless things are over there. I think it that the the that the that. But yeah, I only got down to whatever Y level this is, and uh, you know, yeah, sure. Let me show you the caves while I'm over here. While I'm down here, these are the caves that I found. This is the lower part of the cave. Oh look, it's a zombie. Um, as you guys can see, I haven't mined everything out. Actually, I'm gonna get this infused stuff because I now know what it is, and it is Thomcraft. Thomcraft is something that I want to do eventually. Sidecraft, I checked on the wiki just to make sure I wasn't wrong about it having absolutely no purpose, and I was right, it has absolutely no purpose other than decoration. There's still a lot of coal around here you guys haven't seen yet, or you guys have seen. Cinnabar is also a part of Thumbcraft, which I believe has some purposes. Uh, but what is down here, I do not believe is actually the main goody goodness that got me all the stuff that I have. In fact, it was this right here, guys. Down in here. Head down here. And... 
Boom. What is this, you might say? A ravine. Yes, I found this ravine. And I explored it a little bit. Or a lot. And... I didn't do any of this on camera because... Uh, well... Guys, I was in the zone. I played FTB after I stopped recording last episode. I played it so... For just an extended period of time with no break except to go eat dinner. Listening to Bon Jovi while playing Feed the Beast is just the absolute best thing to do. While going mining, especially. Quartz Crystal has no purpose. And yet I'm mining it. Uh, this is tin, I believe. I think I actually want that. Oh god, hello. Ow! Fucking my own hole, huh? It's gonna betray me. I haven't gone up there, obviously. It's got some tin here, which I should be mining because tin is all super useful and stuff. Iron as well. But this is not a mining episode, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna head back up top and we will do other things. But yeah, this is mostly Oh wait, no 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 no. There is one room I want to show you guys if I can find it. The The room that I'm about to show you guys was the room I went to and found uh those diamonds, a lot of gold. I'm gonna grab all the sapphires and rubies and things I can see. I don't know where it was. I want to grab that, but I don't want to go up there. Mm, it's a really cool looking room, too. Oh, wait. Duh. It's the room with the large lava pool in it. I forgot to put a waypoint in there because it had a large lava pool. And I wanted to take advantage of that whenever I decided to start using uh, lava as a source. Ooh, redstone that I didn't see. Diamonds that I didn't see. These aren't diamonds. No, that's tin. Never mind. Tin has that... Tin has a look of diamond, actually. To me, it does, anyway. Freaking... Tin. Betraying me. It's cool. Whatever. See, it's... When you look at it, it's got, like, the little... The same color tint thing as diamond does. That's diamond, though. That's also diamond. <laughs> but, uh, no, we're not here for diamond. We're here for... We're here for other things. Gotta love that. I am mining, and that is not what this purpose of this episode is. I'm gonna get this diamond. I've left it alone too long now. Let's see how much we got. Looks like only three. Which isn't too big of a problem. I've already got seven back up at the base, so that's another... That's nine diamond right... Nine? Wow, ten diamond right there. I'm a noob. I'm a noob when it comes to the mathematics. Three diamonds! Three more diamonds, woohoo! Got that mining drill. Set. See, but- Wait, look at that. Look at the corner. That is diamond color. That's what- That's why I get confused with ten sometimes. But over here- God, there is a lot of stuff that I did not bother to get. I think it's because I was already full on stuff. Oh, God. I hope you guys are enjoying this mining, actually. I didn't mean to do it, but it's what it is. This is what this is- This is what this is right now, because- God, there's so much stuff. Alright, this is the room that I came into. Saw the diamonds and the, the gold. I believe there's some gold still in here that I haven't gotten to yet. It's pretty cool. I don't know where it is, but there there's some gold up there. I don't have Optifine on, so I can't control zoom in. But I don't want to anyway, because freaking Optifine is buggy as hell for this uh, version. Oh, God, Jesus Christ. Shoot me. Da 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 oh. huh. I expected that to be cooler. Not okay. This is right underneath the uh, the autumn bound too. Okay. Ah, more redstone beckoning. So yeah, I'm all I'm all I don't know if these kinds of like is if I'm just lucky, getting lucky with all this awesome cave generation underneath wherever I am, but how did I not see this diamond over here? I don't know how, but it, I didn't, so whatever. Um, okay, let's get out of here. I'm gonna head back up top, and we'll get started with pulverizing and stuff. Alright, see you guys there. Okay, everybody, we're back up top, and I'm deciding where to place my pulverizer, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys right now how I do this uh, building thing. By the way, uh, I'm just going to mention this right now because I'm not sure if it's going to be or not. If my intro was cut out, sorry about that. I always tend to just like press record and immediately start talking. And it tends to lag occasionally sometimes when I first start. And because of that, 
the recording gets all chopped up and you guys don't hear my hello everybody welcome but okay so what i want to do in order to power this uh pulverizer and the machines after it i want to put an aqueous accumulator right here which uh well the aqueous accumulator actually isn't well it is involved in the powering system you put an aqueous accumulator down two things of water next to it i think i don't know if you put one on top no it's two next to it then pipe waterproof pipe coming out to your uh, I forget which kind of engines they are. Engine? They are the... Sterling engines, I think. I think the Sterling... No, wait. Hobbyist steam engines. That's what it is. I think the Sterling engine might work too, but the hobbyist steam engine is what I was thinking. Of, uh, might be... Might using... Might using? Might using! Okay. Might... Th that I could use. But then again, that takes some gold. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but if I put an aqueous accumulator... Then that will gather up water, <clears throat> and with that, what, what the heck is that? Okay, that's not new. Okay, it's just the word pneumatic servo. I thought that was going to be dangerous. Um, but the aqueous accumulator gathers water, gather, gathers water up, and then you can pump the water out of the aqueous accumulator and into hobbyist steam engines. That um, the hobbyist steam engines use the water. Uh, to produce steam, and then that can be used to power your... The steam, of course, turns into energy, which can be used to power your things. So what I want to do is place the pulverizer... Does it matter exactly where the pulverizer... I don't, I don't even think it has to be up one at all. Uh, put the pulverizer down on the ground. <clears throat> oh, what? They have a tutorial? Oh, no, this is just a... Okay. Uh, smashes things into other things useful processing or creating items. This is not typically reversible. So what this does is it takes it doesn't it's not using any power because we haven't done anything with it yet. But what this does is you put say iron ore in there, and with a power source it crushes the iron ore down into two iron dust, and then with that you put that in a furnace and it smelts it smelts it right off. Now the thing I really like about thermal expansion uh, machines is you got these little things on the side, you know, red, yellow, blue, blue over here. You can see it in here in the configuration. Now what this is, you can see that this is blue, this is red, this is yellow. Well, if you put a furnace next to the red output here, then it'll pulverize the iron into iron dust, and the iron dust will immediately go into the furnace to be smelted right off. So you can just have these things next to each other, and they will transfer items quickly, between them, then stuff. All right, get down there with y'all's things. God, we just got like a stack of. Okay, oh, copper goes in there, 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 there. Okay, okay. Sorry about this. And uh, yeah, all right. So I'm gonna need some way of powering this now. The Sterling engine might just be the best way to go because it's, you know, I'm early on. There's really no need for the other things. We could make a Sterling engine super easily. And I'm not sure if one Sterling engine is going to be enough to power it, but it might very well be. We shouldn't have too much of a worry, actually. Can I? Hmm. I don't know if I can break this or not. Let's try making a wrench, actually. I don't know what wrench would work. I should try making one. Uh, da, 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 da. believe this one is the correct one. Bronze. Ugh, bronze. How do you make bronze? Crap. Oops. Bronze is smelting bronze dust. We know that. Three copper and a tin. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna move this right now. I'm just gonna leave it there. Oh, what I want to do. Okay, I need to make a Sterling engine, right, 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 right. Okay, and I know the basics of how to make some of the things required in a Sterling engine, so... 